doesn't matter where I go in Kansas, when I'm talking with folks in the business community in our small towns or our larger cities, their chief complaint is the workforce shortage that we have, and it doesn't matter what industry we're talking about. When we look at our correctional system, over 90, 95% of those folks are going to be coming back into our Kansas communities. It would be a whole lot better to use the time that they're in our system to provide an education, get training, get certificates, get licenses, so that when they come out, they're ready to take the jobs that we know are available. We're a contract manufacturer. We employ inmates from Lansing Correctional. Today we have about 85 men that show up on a bus every day, come to work. We hire based on attitude and we train and then we help them find jobs on the way out. I was incarcerated uh, starting in 1991. Uh, started off in the grind shop and then eventually I started welding here. Zephyr actually helped me get a job in the community once I was paroled. And then Zephyr approached me and said, hey, would you be interested in coming back? And I said, sure. I came back as a supervisor then. Do you have any training in this before you started here? Right, they do a lot of on-the-job on training and pick it up pretty quick. They're real good at helping us out. It opens up a lot of opportunity for jobs. They do a lot of training, like you said, solder training, crimping training. We take classes here, and that we get certified. We can carry out the employees as they will with solder certified. I'm the governor for all Kansans, no matter where they live. If we don't provide rehabilitative services, workforce training services, while these folks are in our system, then they're going to get out, and we know that the rate of recidivism for people who don't have access to a job, housing, and other community supports will be going right back into our prison. Well, it meant a lot to me that the governor came. Sometimes it's easy to think that there's not a lot of people that care about people that are coming out of prison. So for me, it showed that she's willing to listen and she knows that we're the ones that are kind of closest to, to the issue. I think there's a stereotype that politicians just care about, you know, keeping people incarcerated and, and more about punishment and, and as opposed to like reintegration or how can you find a, a way to be better. And I think that's what uh, private industries offers is a lot of options to know that people can do more than whatever they were doing when they came into prison. It costs us close to $30,000 a year in taxpayer money to keep each person incarcerated. So we get a whole lot better bang for our buck by investing in workforce training programs, by investing in substance abuse programs, investing in mental health services so that these people can be successful uh, when they re-enter society. They, they do depend on me and I appreciate that. I, I like feeling like a, you know, a normal person or a normal employee lets me know that I, I do kind of belong, that I do have a place maybe in society. It has actually built a foundation to expand when I get out of here. The opportunities are endless. Because I did have that early training in welding, that's why I'm where I'm at today. It's nice to be able to become the citizens that the outside citizens right now want to live with, want to be neighbors with. So how do you get people to want to do something more? And a lot of it's courage to change. Succeeding in some of these jobs gave me the confidence that I could do something, and I had something to offer.